mother, um, and also uh, Carrie Edwards, uh, our deputy chief, fire chief of the city of Flint, has lost her mother as well to be funeralized with today. So we want to ask you to keep our friends uh, lifted in prayer uh, today. Um, so. Uh, Cynthia, do you want to do the prayer this morning? No, you haven't. Are oh, you going to let me do it always? All right, but Chief. All right. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before your throne, petitioning for your mercy and grace again in our lives. We thank you right now, Father God, and we ask you to reach out to those who may be in need of a special touch from you today, Father God. Father God, we reach out to one another as we want to be partners and, and uh, make sure, Father God, that we lift each other. Uh, to continue to encourage each other, Father God. We thank you. We thank you and you ask, we ask you to illuminate our footsteps so therefore we can walk in your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Next week, Cynthia, I'm going to make you pray. Uh, uh, well, not make, but I'm going to ask you to <laughs> encourage you. See how she gave me a look, Chief? I did, I did. You see that? <laughs> also today in the studio, we have uh, Chief Phil Hart, the Flint uh, Police Chief of the City of Flint, also a candidate for the Sheriff's Office, uh, and we always say we must lead with the heart. Uh, Phil Hart, <laughs> yes. uh, you're doing a fantastic job for the City of Flint, and I know you will do a fantastic job as Sheriff of Genesee County. And you know, I tell you, you know, um, you have done a marvelous job for the city of Flint, and I want to thank you personally. Well, thank you, uh, sir. And so, but today also we have uh, other news. Uh, we have we have a uh, enemy amongst us, uh, covert nineteen uh, coronavirus. Uh, uh, Wednesday of this week, we declared a state of emergency for the city of Flint. Uh, the county followed our, our lead uh, to be able to get us some additional resources that we will need from the state and also the federal government to make sure that we safeguard. Uh, residents inside the city of Flint and some people ask and my daughter Taylor asked and uh, the very first one I asked what does the emergency mean that when you declare an emergency for us in the city of Flint we have uh, eliminated and uh, preempted all non-essential meetings non-essential meetings have been stopped uh, any meetings over 30 uh, uh, also is prohibited you cannot have a meeting over 30 people and that is for city operations uh, only uh, this Tuesday of this week, I will be shutting down public access to City Hall. Uh, but make sure, please, please, it's very important uh, for the continuation of, of making sure that we have resources uh, and also uh, services uh, inside the City of Flint. Please pay your water bill. You can't pay your water bill online. The, the, the red drop box will still be available inside the doors of City Hall. You can't go there and make your drop there. Uh, money orders and checks only in the drop box. Uh, if you cannot do that, do it that way. You can pay online. All, <clears throat> all fees uh, associated with paying your bills online or paying your water bill online will be waived. Will be waived. Also, uh, customers that have been disconnected from water services, I have ordered all reconnections of water service inside the city of Flint uh, to residential homes. Uh, where people are occupying those homes. This is not a time for people to take uh, advantage or to exploit a crisis. This is a true, real crisis of health amongst us, and we must all band together in order to make sure we can safeguard our city and our nation. Uh, so I have reordered all connection uh, to, to people who do not currently have water service uh, to be reconnected to water so you can bathe and wash your hands at no cost to you. But we're asking all water customers to please, if you can't pay your full bill, pay something on your bill. We still have a, uh, to pay our provider for water and we cannot sustain for a very long time uh, uh, non-payments. Um, and so we're going to ask everybody to chip in and make sure you pay your bills. All city employees have been um, requested, strongly requested to pay their water bills. Chief, are you up to date? I am, sir, yes. Okay, I'm making sure <laughs> right there. And so, but 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 this is not a time for us to um, uh, be practice fault finders and to be the divisionists that sometimes what we know that we have inherently have in our community. Uh, also, what this means is that having this emergency, uh, we're, we're making sure that we're gonna be uh, uh, providing a level of service and not uh, letting our control center and our control center at this time will be city hall go down so uh tuesday of this week we'll be eliminating all public uh go through through city hall you can only make appointments to come in to take care of essential services that you may need uh to go through you have to call to schedule an appointment 
Uh, we will be going down to a skeleton staff uh, or city workers that have, uh, of non-essential services where they don't have to be in the complex. We'll be working remotely from home. Uh, so there's only a few of us, but also our public safety, uh, police and fire, they still will be in full force. We are making sure that each, the, uh, for each shift that our employees are um, not affected before they go out into patrol. Are you want to talk a little bit about that, Chief? Certainly. Thank you, Mayor. Yes, we've uh, implemented a, a policy where we are going to ask a couple basic questions if uh, they feel sick, if they've had any contact with anybody that they know has been exposed, uh, if they've just returned from travel any place where it's uh, the COVID-19 is prevalent. And then we are taking temperature using uh, a um, digital thermometer that they don't have to touch. Mm -hmm. um, if the temperature is 100 plus, then uh, we will be sending them home telling them um, they should go see uh, a doctor right away. Uh, if they do that within the first uh, day of this, we're bringing them right back to work. If they take the time because they are ill, and uh, again, a lot of the doctors that I've spoken with will say that there's really nothing they can do to go home. Um, if you get really bad, contact them. but there's not much they can do other than the testing for it. So um, we are making sure though, if we need to, uh, we're going to shrink down to uh, some of the extra that we have, like uh, our CAT team, uh, maybe pull some of the uh, juvenile officers because they are no longer being needed in the school and we're putting them out to answer mm -hmm. calls as well. Right, and so, you know, we give it up to the, the city of Flint team uh, and administration officers for the last 72 hours, we have been feverishly rewriting and or implementing policy that has not been in place uh it's very difficult sometimes chief and uh you know and you know because you've been involved in all these meetings uh to, to write policy as it relates to uh um, a virus amongst us uh to a very serious nature where we have to preserve life and health inside the city but i want to make sure i thank all of my uh administrators and department heads uh for being um so engaged and active in rewriting these policies because you know we have been you know for the last four months um you know through the lack of governance inside the city of flint um for the past four years we had to really ramp up and do some real real work and so it's been uh, physically and mentally challenging for a lot of us but we have done a fantastic you guys have done a fantastic job in engaging um from where we started uh, here and also in the state level uh our governor as well we announced uh, a first uh, on wednesday morning a health alert uh a, a emergency alert and then we elevated it uh throughout the day to a full blown emergency then our governor issued uh, that night uh, a state of emergency for the state of michigan um the county then followed on thursday afternoon uh with a with a county alert and there's a hierarchy to the way that things flow just for the the, the, the people to understand uh, the city of Flint could not receive additional resources or the help that they needed until the uh, declaration has been declared. Uh, and then also, uh, the declaration had to be then uh, uh, reaffirmed by the county before resources could be delivered. And so before applications have been made uh, to, uh, to those efforts. And so we have made our petitions for additional resources, but we will not wait on those resources to imp implement nor engage uh, the, the protecting of the health and welfare of residents inside the city of Flint. And uh, the state representative, officially, now you have that title, you are the state representative. I know you have been closely um, watching and also um, making sure that, that people in and around your business are being protected. And what are some of the measures that you have been taking in your space and, and in your public uh, door through door through uh, business? Uh, just one of the things that we've been doing is just making sure we sanitize everything down after each um, client, making sure they wash their hands, making sure we wash our hands, and um, we're just making sure that everybody that comes through those doors are safe. So just keep washing your hands. We're doing that at, at my business, washing our hands, sanitizing after every everyone leaves the, the restrooms or whatever. They thought it was a little overboard yesterday, but I just want to make sure every client that comes through those doors are safe. Right. The most vulnerable in our populations are our seniors and those with compromised, compromised immune systems. Uh, so we make sure uh, that we try to uh, eliminate as much as possible uh, where you have the cross pollinization, I would call it, uh, of human uh, uh, pass through uh, places where you're going to have a lot of people. Uh, it has been made illegal to have any gatherings more than 250 by our state. It is a, a, a violation of law 
to have any gatherings uh, uh, for more than 250 people. So, um, but I, I know that, you know, we have uh, services tomorrow. We have a faith-based community. I know some services are uh, broadcasting live uh, via internet and different ways of that nature. I don't want to tell you how you should conduct yourself, but I want to reiterate the fact that we do have a virus amongst us. Uh, but we should not panic. We should just be prepared. And the, this level of gluttony, uh, I, I went to the grocery store last night just to get some taco shells. Um, but uh, but, but you know, the shelves are being being cleaned. Uh, I don't understand the, um, the infatuation with toilet paper. I, I, I have not figured that out. <laughs> I mean, what, what, is, it, is it that much in demand? Uh, you know, I'll tell you, Mayor, what I was told when I did some asking about it was that the, the tubes that the paper is wrapped on are mm -hmm. made in China. Okay. And because they can't be shipped over here, that's what's causing the shortage. But uh, oh. I don't I don't know. I mean, I would assume they could make those tubes here, so I don't understand. Well, 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 well uh, that that has been uh, amazing to me that uh, that that so many people are are purchasing uh, toilet paper, to such wide spread. You know, um, toilet paper, paper, paper towels. Can't find it anywhere. No, you can't. Right. And so, yeah, Besides but doors. You know, well, <laughs> well, when in doubt, don't. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, when in doubt, don't panic. If you have a washcloth, water, and a little bit of soap, I think you can get by. I think so. Uh, I think you can get by with the old school, right? And yes. so, right, right. So, so they know what I mean, right? Right. 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 And so, you know, at this time, we'll take a few callers for uh, Chief uh, Hart Flint, Police Chief, uh, candidate for sheriff of, the, of Genesee County. Uh, the one that you should vote for, the one that I'm endorsing strongly, and he has a lot of other supporters, not because uh, he's just been doing a fantastic job throughout his 30-year-plus career in law enforcement, because you need to have law enforcement that has a heart in it. Um, <laughs> uh, and I definitely, definitely, when we talk about the, some of the dominant tendencies of our society with the biases that goes forth and, and those dialogues, we need to make sure that we need to be a part of the positive change moving forward when we have, you know, uh, sometimes the scale of justice is not just, it's just us. Uh, and, and I'm talking about black and brown people. And so we need to find people in those positions that we empower through our vote to be able to be able to dispense justice fairly and not uh, promotionally. Uh, and so uh, Chief Hart is that individual and that's why I'm strongly endorsing him. State Rep, you have a political voice now who did you have you made your mind up i know you you, you, tr you trumped me last week with biden <laughs> vice president biden came uh here last weekend and and they were very fond of you because you issued an endorsement for joe biden for president <laughs> prior to i did so you got all the privileges uh you know they they they, they fist bumped me but they hugged you yes i am endorsing um our Captain Hart, Chief, Chief Hart, I'm sorry, <laughs> right. Chief Hart, I am uh, endorsing him today. I think he's been doing a fantastic job for the city of Flint, and I'm hoping that everyone else have seen how well you've done with the city, and hopefully countywide, they will be right behind you, just like the Neelys are behind you, and really seeing how a great job you're doing for this city. Thank you very much. I right. appreciate it. And, and a Chief Emergency Officer for Genesee County is a sheriff. Is yes, that true. That's correct. And so, uh, through this, through these efforts, you know, one of the individuals that's supposed to be champion and be at the table uh, through these engagements is is the law enforcement and, and, and the medical response. And, and and so, in the counties, they have a larger voice than cities sometimes. And so, the declarations have to be a trickle down type of effect, and and so we have to go through uh, this level. Help stations will remain open, even though they're not city operated. We had a dialogue and reached out to our partners that provides water throughout the week. Bethel Church, uh, Bishop Jones's church, uh, Mother Jones, Sandra Jones have been doing a fantastic job making sure people in this community has had water and food, even with the discontinuation of the state water pods inside the city. And we have a couple more of those uh, uh, help stations throughout the city. They will remain open, but the so, but only, only to, uh, to the effort of where you drive through and then water is placed in your car. We will be ask uh, people to make sure you uh, do not um, fight back uh, any tendencies of gluttony because you know there's only so many resources out there. So don't take more than you actually need. Uh, so, so because when you do that, you may be taking some resources from people that may need those as well. Um, and so don't take more than you need to hoard it uh, because people out here are going to be uh, needing our, our need of those supplies as well. 
And Chief, you know, we've been trying to buy extra gear for the police officers and firefighters, yes. and we have been having a difficult time trying to find some of those things. That's correct, yeah. We've been looking as well, Mayor, and uh, it, it is. It's, um, and even when you get to, to the point with the masks, they're really recommending that they be saved for the medical staff. So I think a lot of them are being kept off to the side, even if they are available. But mm. um, that's not going to preclude our officers from, from going out and doing what they need to do. We'll just make sure that we, we check them for their own safety and also for the safety of the public they're serving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we cannot afford to go down. It's a it's an internal, it's an external and an internal piece that you had to go through when you declared an emergency and making sure that we're prepared to make sure our command center does not go down. If our law enforcement officers have, uh, if we have a, 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 a the pandemic hitting our law enforcement officers, mm -hmm. we will lose the ability to control and having um, uh, organized law enforcement effort, you know, so we will lend ourselves to chaos at that particular point if we lose our law enforcement, our trained officers, if they all go down to this virus. And so that's why it's important and that's why we're taking the extra precautions, making sure when the officers come on duty uh, that they won't be infected. If they're infected, they won't infect others uh, in our, in our uh, rank and file and also out there as they uh, do their duty uh, for this uh, jurisdiction, the city of Flint. Correct, absolutely. And we're also uh, pushing really hard the, the cleanliness. Make sure you wash mm -hmm. your hands constantly. Carry around, uh, if you can't get the hand sanitizer, much like the mayor has done, make your own. Right. right. And, and carry that with you every mm -hmm. place. So so what I've done is that because hand sanitizer is, uh, is in short supply, uh, uh, rubbing the alcohol to the 70 percentile or better uh, I placed it in a spray bottle and put a spray nozzle on it. This is for my Facebook viewers here and poured it. This is 91% proof. This is what I grabbed. It was available. Uh, so this is uh, not concentrated, but this is pure uh, rubbing alcohol for 91 percentile. And I use this in a spray bottle to sanitize any particular area around me and or my hands. It just dries your skin out a little bit. Uh, so you have to put a little bit of lotion on afterwards. Yes. That's, that's about that's about it. But 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 don't uh, don't you know? I would not uh, recommend for anybody to put bleach or anything on mm -hmm. their persons that, uh, to try to sanitize. Wash your hands, soap and water. Sing Happy Birthday or uh, the Bee Gees song, Staying Alive, while you're doing it. And after you complete the song, <laughs> um, and that's a generational song. Millennials won't know that. So that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so, but but uh, do that to make sure you safeguard yourself. Uh, because this is real. This is real. The city of Flint is under an emergency locally. The county is under emergency and also the state of Michigan is under emergency. Make sure you sanitize bad information because you're going to have individuals out there giving you bad information through this crisis. Um, water, water will be restored to those residents uh, who ha have been disconnected from the service. Uh, this administration has not disconnected anybody through my tenure, so uh, any water user uh, would have had to been disconnected for more than four months. Uh, the period of time that we have been there, we have not disconnected one user, uh, trying to make sure that we provide a level of, of service for residents uh, to the essential services of having water is very important to us. But make sure if you have the service, don't take it for granted. We need to pay our suppliers. We are behind uh, ourselves to our suppliers as it relates to uh, the cost that it costs the, uh, the city of Flint to provide the service. We don't want that to be collapsed. Please, if you don't, don't be lazy here. Uh, pay your water bill. Monday, we will be open uh, to the public uh, to make those payments. So make arrangements to come to make your payments. We have taken precautions uh, inside the city hall. Uh, we have modified uh, two of our, our um, windows to be able to take water payments and make sure the, the people are safe uh, from the virus to do so. After, after tomorrow, City Hall will be shut down to the public. After Monday. After Monday, I'm sorry. I said tomorrow, I'm sorry. After Monday, thank you. That's why she's the state rep. That's right. <laughs> right, right, right. That's <laughs> good. That's good. Yeah. We'll take callers very quickly, 239-5733, uh, 239-5733. Three, 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 three. And so um, uh, we'll, we'll entertain any particular questions. Any questions there on Facebook, Mr. Herring? Uh, no, one gentleman wrote, uh, thank you for mentoring my family, but it disappeared. I can't call his name for you. Okay, well. I thought that was impressive. Well, well you, you're, welcome. you're welcome. We are having some audio issues, so if you could speak up a little bit, they might be able All to hear right. you better. Well, my wife says her voice carries, but um, I don't want to yell into the microphone. But, <laughs> uh, but, but um, also, you know, water users, you would have to call City Hall, and we will have that number for you. People will be there continuously 
in our command station, which is City Hall, to take your um, to take your calls to be able to get you to the essential services that you may need. Do not use 911 unless it's an emergency. We still will have our law enforcement and all of our emergency responders engaged in activity. Uh, stay tuned to offer all bulletins. Uh, but make sure, make sure you do all, take all the precautionary things that you need to do uh, to protect you and your family by washing your hands for 20 seconds with soap and water, uh, uh, warm water, uh, sanitize as much as possible. Do not touch your eyes, your mouth, or your face. If you have a habit of doing so like I do, uh, fight, it, fight it back. So what I do is uh, lock my hands together uh, <laughs> vigorously in order to get away from that. Uh, but make sure we do that. Two three nine five seven three three. If you have a, a question for the for our police chief, which is running for uh, the, sh the sheriff uh, of Genesee County, Phil Hart, make sure you cast your vote for it. We have a few callers. <clears throat> Good morning. You're on with community update. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sheldon, this is Chris Dermot. Question for the chief. Uh, Chief, I'm wondering if you're expecting an increase in crime in, in the city with everyone staying home, uh, domestic violence, or, or crime associated with a shortage of different supplies. Well, not, we're not really expecting it, but we are preparing for it. Uh, Can you repeat the question? They're having a hard time hearing. Well, well they oh. said, is there, is, there, are there, is the chief expecting an uh, increase in crime inside the city of Flint through this emergency? Right. And and uh, actually, people staying at home should probably help cut down on the crimes. Now, they bring up an important point of the domestic violence, but again, because of the situation, I think families can get together behind what's going on here, and hopefully, uh, with working together, that would preclude any of that sort of activity from happening. Now, if we're talking about uh, any um, any issues with the stores, with people trying to get supplies, you know, the, across the nation, that has not been an issue. And I think people are, are being reasonable about what's going on. So I, I don't really expect any issues, no. Yep. I have a question. Yep. We have, we have another caller. Good morning. You're on a couple, community update. Yeah, I guess I got a couple of questions here. But uh, what was in the system? So that's that's why we need a good sheriff uh, in that position. That's why Phil Hart is running for that post because those things will be restored to the best of their ability, making sure those that even committed crimes still has rights. Uh, and Phil Hart will make sure that he implements those things. Absolutely. Yeah. Good morning, caller. Your own community update. Oh uh, yeah. How you doing, Mr. Neely? Blessed. Good. Uh, I had a history of having a flu, and. Uh, one of the things that controls the thing that I used to control and destroy the flu was uh, parsley. Parsley controls the order of garlic. Garlic knocked out the flu in one day. I had five pieces. Every time I used five pieces, it knocked it right out. And my books uh, confirm that garlic is one of the best things you can use to destroy the flu. That was fresh raw garlic i just wanted to add that to the mix god bless you thank you and one thing with garlic would do would keep people away from you so you won't have to be able to contract that from anybody else so maybe that might be it we do have another caller good morning you're on with community update good morning are you there all right that was it yeah so you know but we want to make sure that we uh if you have to go out and about, if you have to be in, in public spaces, make sure you do everything to protect yourself. Wash your hands, uh, sanitize, use 
uh, you know, hand sanitizers frequently. Yeah. I have a question. Uh-huh. Uh, price gouging. Yes. Is that illegal? Somebody told me they're charging $40 for a case of water. Yes, it is illegal. That's, um, you know, we had that back before. I don't know if you remember under uh, Governor Granholm with the gas. And uh, we actually went after them. I was with the state at that time. We went after them at the state level. Uh, and that is something to be looked at here that I intend to talk with our attorney general's office and our local prosecutor to see if we have any of that taking on uh, in our area. I definitely want to go after them. You, you don't go after people in a time like this. Right. When, when an emergency is declared, you know, they have to hold back on the gouging. The new legislation has been in, in, uh, engaged and endorsed as state representative Neely. You, once you get there, Delancey, they'll be pushing that through pretty fast about price gouging. We have another caller. Uh, good morning. You have a community. Good morning. You have a community update. Good morning. I just had a question about. I know that the mask got to be kept for law enforcement and uh, medical workers. But what I wanted to know is the option for regular masks because when you go in these stores and different places, these uh, smells from these uh, cleaners and stuff is sickening into a person that has asthma and you need a mask you know when you go places to cover up from these uh strong chemicals from these wipes and these sanitizers it's very sickening so is there an option for a regular mask for somebody that needs it that might have asthma. Well, you, you may have to go get a mask, and I would try to hardware store so they have some dust masks available there, I believe, but it's the, every, all supplies are in short, uh, short order. Uh, it's been very difficult even for um, our municipality to find the supplies that we need for our, our first responders and all those individuals that be going door to door. Our water service, uh, uh, custom, uh, not customers, but people who will be providing the, the, the cut-ons and, and uh, for, for water customers. Uh, we're looking for supplies for them, so it's been very difficult. But I would try hardware stores because their masks may not be medical masks, but it may be dust masks, and it, it'll help uh, filter out some of those smells for chemicals. I would recommend that. Stay rep. We got two one minute and a half. Anything from you? I just want to um, make sure I tell everyone who came out on Tuesday and voted for me. Thank you, and I will be working very hard once I hit hit Lansing to make sure we do all we need to do for the city of Flint. Chief Hart. Well, I, uh, Mayor, I want to thank you for your leadership. Uh, you were speaking a little while ago about that. Th that's the reason why things are being done. And I appreciate that. I know the department heads do. And I just wanted to thank you publicly for the leadership you've shown us. Well, thank you for that because it has been, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to today to getting a little bit of rest. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to take my mother out. She's a part of that community uh, that's vulnerable. I don't want to take her in a public space to have breakfast. So I may be getting, cooking some bacon and eggs at home today. So if you can <laughs> stand that, uh, that, that might not be as much of a risk as, 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 as coronavirus, but you're taking the risk too. So thank you all. Make sure you be safe. I love you all. Let's stay engaged. Let's stay unified. Let's stay focused. Uh, make sure you take in good information. Do not take in the bad information from uh, the side uh, armchair doctors about some of these things. Uh, I love you guys. I love you, Mom. God bless. Vote heart. Vote heart. We thank you for tuning in to the community update broadcast.